To truly practice and experience the Dharma, it is essential that you realize just how meaningless is everything in samsara, in worldly life. The only way to develop that realization is this meditation on the evils of samsara. Reflect on it until you are deeply convinced that samsara is full of suffering. The sign of the meditation having taken truly root in you is to feel like Geshe Langri Tampa. One day one of his close attendants told him, the others call you Langri Tampa, gloomy face. How could my face be bright and cheery when I think about all the sufferings in the th three worlds of samsara, the Geshe replied. It is said that Langri Tampa only ever smiled once. He saw a mouse trying to move a tortoise that was on his mandala but the mouse could not lift the jewel on its own, so it called tick tick. And another mouse came along too. One mouse pushed the turquoise while the other pulled. That made Langri Tampa smile. This meditation on the suffering of samsara is a basis and support for all the good qualities of the path. It turns your mind towards the Dharma. It gives you confidence in the principle of cause and effect in all your actions. It makes you turn away from the goals of this life and it makes you feel love and compassion for all beings. The Buddha himself, pointing out how important it is to recognize suffering, started each of the teachings of the three turnings of the wheel of Dharma with these words, Monks, this life is suffering. Put it into practice and you become completely, completely convinced and certain of it. I see that samsara is suffering, but crave it still. I fear the abyss of the lower realms, but continue to do wrong. Bless me and those who have gone astray like me, that we may sincerely renounce the things of this life. Now, when I first read this chapter, it seemed excessively dark and gloomy to me. But there is a reality to there, something very real, some very real wisdom, that if you meditate on it, even just for a little bit, it makes you realize that in fact, this life is suffering. In fact, most of the things that most people consider pleasure only, in fact, lead to suffering. And the only real true joy, the only real true happiness, freedom, comes from a deeply spiritual life. That comes from looking within, coming to know the self more and more. I love the Tibetan Buddhist way of looking at things. It's so very practical. And it's so very real, uncompromising in its honesty. And um, that's why I love books like this, Words of My Perfect Teacher, which, you know, offer real genuine wisdom, offer a real solution from what so many people suffer from in this world.